We're at the uh, TA truck stop, and uh, I was going through the comments. <laughs> I was going through the comments uh, for the last video I put up, and somebody made the comment that they didn't hear the squeaky clutch. And I was like, you know what? It's not squeaking. So I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what happened. It, uh, maybe some of that WD-40 or whatever I sprayed under there, it, uh, it quit squeaking, but uh, it's not squeaking. <laughs> Now watch tomorrow to be squeaking. No, today was a long day. It took about three hours to get unloaded. It took five hours to get loaded. So that was eight hours of our day just sitting around doing nothing. Um, you know, a lot of people make a comment that uh, I'm a pretty easygoing guy and I don't get too upset. I do get upset. What I have learned over the years though is I take all that energy that makes me mad and, and I try to direct it towards fixing the problem. Uh, getting mad because it takes five hours to get loaded is not going to solve the problem. Uh, that's not going to change anything. I'm not going to get that time back. Um, so it just, I just roll with it. Uh, I will mark that place off my list for a little while. They got damaged in the hurricane, but it's not the hurricane's damage that was slowing them down. It was... Uh, I don't know what it was, but they were slow. So anyway, uh, we're going to wake up. We got uh, fuel. I've already took a shower. We took the, I set my 10 hour clock and we're going to wake up early in the morning and head up to hot Atlanta. So we should be leaving here about five o'clock ish East coast time because we're on central time right now. And that should put us up there around 11 o'clock. So the only thing that does is it messes me up getting to Louisville because I was going to try to get to Louisville tomorrow night, but that's not going to happen. So anyway, that's all right. Uh, I got a lot of good comments on the uh, on the last video. Uh, somebody recommended a uh, solar battery charger. I'm going to look into that. That's a pretty good idea. I didn't think about that. But uh, a lot of people have made some good recommendations. So I do read the comment. But the squeaky clutch, I was like, you know what? I don't think it has been squeaking. So anyway, I thought I'd get the camera out. All right, that's it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, we're in uh, Newton, Georgia, I believe. We're at a pilot truck stop. This pilot truck stop's kind of a mess. I, uh, <laughs> it was uh, quite interesting trying to get in here and I'll explain that in a little bit, but uh, ah, this is what we loaded yesterday, air conditioners. Took five hours to get loaded, was not a happy camper. But uh, four, we got, I think we got a total of 17 units. These three units in the front, one, two, and three. They're going to Michigan. The rest of these are going up by Atlanta. I am gonna ask them when I unload in Atlanta if they will take that top unit and put it down there when we're done. So hopefully the guy will be nice enough. That way uh, we'll get a little aerodynamic 
coming around nothing crazy um i like putting two straps per units uh instead of one you could get away with one but in my experience they've just always ridden better with uh with two so uh everything looks pretty good back here there's an airport there's an airport right here and i was standing outside i didn't have the camera on but a plane come down <laughs> Seemed like you could touch it. It was so close. But uh, that's what we got. All right, let's make it quick. Get out of here. We'll get going. I'll explain to you how messed up this pilot is. So talk to you in a bit. Okay, I think we're ready. So we left early this morning out of uh, Mariana, um, Florida. And uh, we got about another hour to go, a little over an hour, depending on traffic, out of uh, Atlanta or around uh, Atlanta. Oops. Let me turn this off. There we go. Um, so uh, that's our plan. But yeah, as you can see, it's like it's one way coming in here. And uh, when uh, this guy's backing up, hang on a second, let me figure out what's going on here. sure what this guy's doing or where he's going. <laughs> when I pulled in, he was parked on the other side of the parking lot. He pulled over here and parked. He might be lazy. <laughs> uh, Alright. So anyway, as you can see, this is one way out. They were all backed up out in the street. And uh, I did the, uh, I guess you want to call it outlaw trucker thing or whatever, but I came in here backwards, or not backwards, but up the one way because it was probably going to be about a good 30 minutes before I got through here. But anyway, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I have never stopped here before and I will never stop here again. So that'll solve that problem. But, all right, let me get out of here, and uh, we got about an hour to get through Atlanta, and talk to you in a bit. used to I've, I've delivered where we're going I used to deliver over here to see United Suddeth when I was doing household goods I would uh, deliver to that place right there 
let's see here, but this is where we're going, is this place over here. This place over here, we need 2625 truck entrance and exit. All right. But it's probably been about, mm, I don't know, four or five years since I've been back here. I know I had, wasn't, wasn't making videos. You've arrived. I have arrived. Doesn't look busy, so hopefully it won't take long. Let's see what they want me to do, because I do not remember what goes on here. I've got to get turned around, or if it goes around the building, or what. So I have a feeling I could probably back up to get out of here. We'll back up, and then we can turn, because I don't think I go around the building. But, all right. Let's uh, let's figure this out, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we got unloaded. It didn't take too long, and uh, the guy was nice enough to uh, set that other condi air conditioner down. So these three units are going up to uh, Michigan. Set it down that way, get a little more aerodynamic, maybe save a little bit on fuel. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. So it didn't take long at all. Um, we got about six hours left on our clock. Um, I was watching truck pulling in. We got to get out of the way. Uh, we've got about six hours left on our clock. We're going to make it up to Franklin, Kentucky. So uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, it's the end of the day. Um, we're about 40 miles south of Nashville on I-24. I, uh, I was running out of hours. I know the sun's behind me, but we're walking over here. I was running out of hours. And um, I just wanted to uh, call it quits. We're gonna hit Nashville right around rush hour, so I didn't wanna go through Nashville rush hour. But uh, I'm heading over to that old truck. I pulled in, I like stopping at this old truck stop. This is the Shell truck stop at exit 89. We're parked right over there. And uh, the Loves is across the interstate. But I, I saw it looks like an old GMC. And I thought we'd walk over here and take a look it uh they just had a really bad rainstorm through here so everything's wet and muddy but uh let me walk over here and i'll, I'll talk to you guys when we get there all right all right for you uh truck truck buffs you guys can figure out what year or whatever i don't even know i don't even know if that cab belongs on that frame it looks like it was set on there so that might not even be the right frame. But anyway, it's pretty cool. Maybe you guys can figure out what year the cab is. GMC. That would be kind of cool to restore. Cruise around and something like that. And yeah, let's go around the other side. We can see it better. Some of behind us. Okay. Here, I'm going to hold the camera up so you guys can see inside there. But, uh, interesting interesting yeah so I, i'm not too sure what's going on here i don't know if that's the the right frame they got it blocked up so i'm not too sure but anyway it's interesting all right that's it that's it for today um we had a good day we covered we did 500 miles uh we were just going to run out of hour driving hours right in the middle of nashville and i just didn't want to drive through nashville not in rush hour so uh, we're gonna call it quits but uh, we're gonna hit it nice and early tomorrow morning so talk to you later